An open world game is judged on a number of different criteria, from the range of its activities to whether the gameplay is fun or not. But the true hallmark of a game in the genre is how lively its world feels, pulling in players and seemingly immersing them on a grand scale. Let's take a look at 15 of the most lively open world games of all time, and why they're so noteworthy. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion Bethesda's games have always been buggy, and The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion was no exception. However, the sheer attention to detail that went into its world and NPCs was staggering, even by today's standards. Non-playable characters each had their own schedules they followed, irrespective of the player's state. The world is immense and rife with interesting quests, factions, and storylines. And there's freedom in both player choice and AI behavior, to a degree in the latter's case. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Make no mistake, Skyrim is one of those games that will be remembered for years to come. And while its world and story may not be as compelling as Oblivion, there's still an incredible amount of life to be had. The interactions with NPCs, whether it's random passerby or guards, can be memorable, and there are so much more this time around. There are secrets and unique items to be found everywhere, stories waiting to be discovered, and nuanced dungeons that teem with ingenuity. It may not be as intuitive or visually amazing as back in the day, but Skyrim still has one of the most vibrant worlds out there. Assassin's Creed Unity If we talk about lively worlds in terms of sheer numbers of NPCs, then Assassin's Creed Unity bears mentioning. The streets of French Revolution-era Paris are simply teeming with life. Despite being marred with performance issues and other bugs, Paris still remains one of Ubisoft's liveliest sandboxes. Yakuza 6 – The Song of Life The Yakuza series has always had a penchant for capturing the look and feel of Japan, with locations like Kamurochu being a dead ringer for Kabukichu. Yakuza 6 may have added Onomichi in Hiroshima as well, but it's behavior of its crowds, who can be seen walking, shopping, conversing, and eating, that lend an organic feel to its surroundings. Couple this with the game's incredible sub-stories, which let you delve further into the bizarre lives of Yakuza's denizens, and you have a world unlike any other. Grand Theft Auto V Rockstar Games' attention to detail was already well known, but Grand Theft Auto V upped the ante significantly. The massive city of Los Santos is full of unique NPCs, with many falling on the quirkier side, and the sheer effort taken to recreate Los Angeles in such twisted fashion is incredible. Law enforcement attempts to hunt you down at every turn. Many open worlds have come and gone, but Grand Theft Auto V still commands a large amount of attention, both in sales and players. Stalker Call of Pripyat It's interesting to talk about the liveliness in a game that's primarily set in a dead zone. Stalker Call of Pripyat has no shortage of life though, both human and mutant. You'll come across traders hawking goods, mercenaries and military personnel trying to survive, and a ramshackle economy holding everything together. Bandits of various types roam the zone, with rival gangs fighting with each other. Sometimes you'll come across random gatherings at campfires. Other times, something will pierce that pitch-black night to hunt you. It's always a fun time in the exclusion zone. Shinmu for all the problems with its writing and controls, Shinmu was a forerunner in creating a living open world. Players explore Yokosuka in 1986, connecting with various residents, each with their own lives and schedules. There are several minigames to play and elements to interact within the city. Even protagonist Ryo Hazuki has to conform to the rules, taking a job and ultimately being back in time for bed. Horizon Zero Dawn Guerrilla Games' first open-world outing is a unique blend of action RPG, hunting, and exploration. It's one thing to create a world with humanity being reduced to tribes, but to create a massive world with a unique form of life in the machines, who each have their own unique behavior patterns, settlements, and massive cities teeming with unique NPCs, and reconcile this with the remnants of the past is truly incredible. Aloy loves this world, and despite all of the tragedy, it's not hard to see why. Red Dead Redemption 2 Red Dead Redemption 2's take on various parts of the United States during the Wild West is full of interesting characters, random NPCs that may require your help, trains to hijack, ambushes, and much more. Animals roam the countryside and can threaten your life, while towns and cities feature saloons and streets bustling with activity. 
Capturing all of this detail isn't easy, but Red Dead Redemption 2 pulls it off with style. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Still significant after all these years, CD Projekt Red's The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt has a truly outstanding open world to explore. Each area has a story to tell and unique characters inhabiting it. While you can't interact with everything, there are heaps of side stories to unlock, quests to undertake, and breathtaking locations to explore, which also have their own cultures, traditions, and music. And where there aren't well-written NPCs to interact with, you can expect horrific monsters and supernatural threats lurking in every nook and cranny. Assassin's Creed Odyssey Thousands of NPCs won't congregate in a single area, but Assassin's Creed Odyssey is still no slouch when it comes to populating its world. Set in ancient Greece, namely Athens and Sparta, there's a wealth of NPCs adorning each major location, some of which might be assassinated to tip the scales for either army. Other characters may be historical figures like Socrates and engage you in philosophical musings. The quest variety, when you're not just hunting enemies or clearing out camps, is also pretty good as you investigate the cult of Cosmos, tell stories to kids, and so much more. Marvel's Spider-Man Swinging through Manhattan and interacting with the various denizens who actually react to Spidey's presence is an amazing feeling. The hustle and bustle of traffic, expansive cityscape with its skyscrapers, and the various landmarks add to the immersion, even as you're swooping by them at a fast pace. The open world gameplay loop is fairly straightforward, but seeing so many familiar sights pertaining to Spider-Man and Marvel Comics as a whole is also great. Just Cause 3 the world of Just Cause 3 didn't house the smartest of characters, but it was still alive all the same. The terrain has been expanded significantly from previous games, and Rico's interaction with the residents is more nuanced as he ties up with the Resistance. But really, it comes down to the sheer range of destruction, toppling bridges and wrecking bases at a whim. It's interesting to see how the AI reacts, and creating all kinds of chaos can lead to a different kind of vibrancy in the world. Watch Dogs 2 Ubisoft had its work cut out when trying to develop a sequel for Watch Dogs, especially given the various controversies of the first game. Instead of gritty Chicago, Watch Dogs 2's world is based off of the San Francisco Bay Area, and thus embodies a more youthful tone. It's still possible to hack various parts of the world, but their interactions with the various NPCs, of which there are many, feels better executed this time around. The invasion of privacy missions allowed Marcus to get a covert look at various NPCs' lives while also manipulating various elements in the environment to impact their lives, further connecting one to the world. Sleeping Dogs United Front Games' Sleeping Dogs was based off of Hong Kong and did its homework in faithfully recreating the various districts, bustling as they are with NPCs and activities. The use of custom interiors, especially to feed into the game's loop of combat and exploration, is well done, imbibing that Hong Kong cinema vibe. Still, even as you take in the various houseboats, neon signs, and vendors across its streets, the atmosphere of the city effortlessly seeps through. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.